Hello, happy Wednesday, everybody. How are we doing today? Welcome in, Nate. These streams make Wednesdays much more exciting. Oh, I'm glad that you enjoy them. You're having a good time. Huh. Fun news. If you were with us last week, you, you would have been uh, here for the uh, Edge of Eternity crashing situation. <laughs> Where uh, it kept crashing at the same point. But I went on to it yesterday. Was it yesterday? Monday. I was like, right. Let's troubleshoot. Let's see what's going on. I'll just try try the same thing again. Try and reproduce the bug. No, no problems. No problems at all. So I've saved it on the other side of the thing that was crashing. And hopefully we won't have any problems. <laughs> Which I'm really glad about. Because I really want to know how this, uh, how this game ends. Quite frankly. And I'd be sad if we couldn't get any further in the story. But it's very exciting. It bug squashed. Exactly. Well, I don't know if necessarily we squashed the bug. I think it just escaped. You know? I didn't solve it. Didn't figure out what was causing it. <laughs> but now it's not a problem. <laughs> like when you find like, a spider in your house. And then you, you're like, oh, I've got to put this spider outside. But then eventually you can't find it anymore. And like after looking for a bit. And then you just kind of give up. And you're like, eh, I guess it's not a problem anymore. Even though it is still kind of in the house. <laughs> Bug liberation. Liberation for all the bugs. I hate that spiders are so icky because like actually spiders especially like spiders are good to have in your house unless you live like in Australia. If you live in Australia or a place like that maybe just be careful. Don't get those spiders in your house. But, <laughs> but in this country it's good to have spiders in your house because they eat the flies and stuff. We had one big spider that we've got in the kitchen has like a skylight. And we had one massive spider that was just like living in the corner of that spot that, that skylight for ages and like it wasn't very nice because <laughs> the skylight is directly over the table and it kept um because it was so big it kept catching quite big flies but they were too heavy for its web and after a little while it, it would like wrap it up it would kill it and wrap it up and then it would just fall on the table this is lovely content for a wednesday afternoon i hope nobody's eating <laughs> Apologies if you're currently eating. Um, yeah, it feels like a really long time since the last stream, and it, it's only it's a normal amount of time. It's it's been like two days, but it was Pokemon. And to be honest, as much as I love that game, it got a bit repetitive for three hours. So I don't know if we'll do many more. Pokemon streams but it was fun and it was good to have you guys get, helping me name the Pokemon that's fun um, I, I also love how when I first started this I had like a whole list of like this is what you say when you go live this is we're gonna we're gonna I, I've got to unmute myself and I've got to say like hello welcome this is how you can support the stream today we're playing this game and now it's just now it's just whatever crazy thing is at the forefront of my mind. I don't even think about it. <laughs> Today, spiders. That's what we all come here for, isn't it? You come here for the spider content. <laughs> I sometimes also wish, I, I wish that I, like I don't hate spiders. I will happily hold a spider as long as it's like a little one, like the, like the, these, these kind of little ones, this sort of size next to my head for comparison. Ar Ar Arachnation, yes. Hello, Faye! You're still awake. Oh, bless you. For those of you who don't know, Faye, uh, Faye has been working an extremely long cool at the hospital. I will fall asleep to your stream. Please do. Sleep is more important. <laughs> That's funny. You only get wigged out by the small ones. Interesting. I don't like bigger ones. Which is, I, I, it's, it's weird. The small ones, I'm like, oh, it's so cute. Look at you, little buddy. And then the big ones, I'm like, ugh. And I wish that I wasn't because I actually like intellectually quite like spiders. <laughs> I would like, I would like to have spider friends, but they, but they ick me out. <laughs> if I can track where it is, it doesn't bother me so much. See, yeah, this, that's the thing. It's like, where's, where's the spider is the worst thing. <laughs> I actually don't, I think spiders don't, 
stress me out as much as like flying bugs do. I hate things that fly. Because <laughs> they're like flappy and like flying around like the Watson eats all the bugs in your house. That's good. Watson's face cat. Oscar tries to eat the bugs in the house, but he's also a lazy shit. So sometimes he eats them and sometimes he doesn't. <laughs> he's a hunter. Haha. <laughs> But yeah, I did hold a tarantula once. Uh, I wasn't going to, but then I was with my family and uh, my mum decided to hold it. And I was like, I can't let my mum be the only one that's brave enough to hold a tarantula. So I had to do it as well. Or was it the other way around? No, I'm misrepresenting myself. It was the other way around. Thank you. Yes. I was like, as we were leaving, I was like, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to hold the tarantula. And then my mum couldn't let me do that on my own. So she had to do it too. <laughs> Delay to stink bug once. Uh, what's a stink bug? Uh, is that something that we have in Europe? I don't know. I can't think of any bugs that smell. Watson even eats the flying ones. He jumps super high. Yeah. Oscar does the same thing, but he does it only does it like against the windows where he can see them. He'll like jump up against the window and the door. But <laughs> Oh, but poor Dill anyway. I, whatever a stink bug is, sounds like it would not taste very nice. <laughs> Once wanted to kill a fly, but then turned around and it was gone and Watson was chewing. That happens sometimes with cats. <laughs> Ooh, a mid-sized beetle that emits a rank musk when bothered. Ugh, or when eaten. Yeah, well, I, I would equate being eaten with being bothered, to be honest. <laughs> Ugh, that's not nice. I don't think, as far as I'm aware, I mean, I don't really know much about bugs in this country, but I, sh I don't think we have any bugs that do that. I hate, I haven't seen one in ages, but I hate May bugs, if you have those in America. Because someone as a child told me that if a May bug gets like caught in your hair, because I've always had quite long hair, most, most of my childhood I had long hair. If it gets caught in your hair, that uh, it like, scrambles about and tangles itself up and then it gets so tangled that you have to like cut it out of your hair that is probably not true <laughs> but that is what somebody told me as a child uh so i've always been like terrified uh terrified of it uh, also they're really loud they like i haven't seen one in quite a few years now but i remember once one made its way into my room uh, and I didn't know it was here until I was like going to sleep and suddenly it was like this really really loud like chirping noise just like constant chirping noise and I was like what the hell is that and, it, and then I turned on the light and there's just this Maybug like sitting there on the floor like mm. <laughs> why would you send you to bed thinking about that oh no Faye sorry I'm sorry I hope you have a nice no streams and not no spiders only nice spiders in the dreams <laughs> no no may bugs no no stink bugs <laughs> i'm so sorry <laughs> i cursed it it's because i said i hope no one's eating but we didn't think about Faye needing to sleep <laughs> but it's fine they're called may bugs for a reason and it's currently january so there's no may bugs it's fine they're only, they're only around in May. <laughs> also, the, one of the weirdest things I find about bugs as well is like, there's so many like colloquial names for them. I don't really know any like scientific names for bugs because I just use the colloquial names. The best one, right? This is nobody ever believes me or takes me seriously. There, there is like, I did not hear the term woodlouse. Or I believe in America you might call them pill bugs. I did not hear that term until I was at least like, what, 13? Because it's a cheesy bob. That's the, that's the, what it is. And the first, I, like wherever I go, I'm like, it's cheesy bob. And everyone's like, what the fuck is that? Looked it up, turns out it's extremely localized slang based on where I grew up. <laughs> Literally, I went to the school in the next town over and no one there knew what it was. It was like, what? roly polies? yeah, that's that's another word for it. Yes, I do mean those. It's a cheesy bob, though. And I was just like, I don't know why it's a cheesy bob. I assume it doesn't taste of cheese. 
<laughs> I don't know, I've never eaten one. But I remember like, the only time, until I went to secondary school, where, where I went in the town, next town over, the only time that I, I experienced anyone being like, what the hell is a cheesy bob, was when I went to visit our friends in Australia. And I was like six years old and we found one. And I was like, oh my God, a cheesy bob. And he was like, what? Which is weird because he grew up, uh, the, the, their, their child who I was friends with, he grew up like with me in the town where I grew up. Um, and then moved to Australia when he was, but he was, I suppose he was quite young, so he probably would have been quite malleable in what language and stuff. But like, it was like, you don't know Cheesy Bob. And then the older I got and the more people that I met from like further afield, it was like, nobody knows this word. <laughs> oh dear. Well, on that note, we should probably stop talking about bugs so that Faye can, you know, sleep. <laughs> uh, Shall we play some Edge of Eternity? Let's stop that music. Ha ha! I noticed I went back on some of the VODs and the, like, computer sound was a bit quiet, so I'm going to turn it up. Ooh! So please let me know if it's too loud. How is that, though, compared to, like, my voice? Because you can't really hear... When I looked on the VODs, you can't really hear the music and stuff, and especially for games like this. You want to hear the voice acting. Yeah. Okay. Fingers crossed this works and we don't have to play a different game immediately. <laughs> you will dream of stinky cheese bugs. I'm sorry. You can think about this um this game instead. <laughs> there's no stinky cheese bugs, I think, in this game. <laughs> I don't know, there's some weird stuff. So what I did was we were we were trying to get into the junkyard and I literally just went in went into the junkyard because the loading screen was where it was crashing and saved it on the other side. So things crossed. <laughs> um I was gonna say something about this game and I've forgotten what it was. Oh yes, you can interact with the game. I always forget, but I remembered to activate the overlay for this game. So you can do stuff with it, which is fun. Oh, there's a save point right here, lol. I always like to save actually at the save points, even though you can save wherever. Just because sometimes, or at least when I was first playing this game, they might have fixed it now, but sometimes you set, try and save wherever and it, it doesn't work. And it kind of goes back a bit, so... Right, I would rather not. I'd rather not fight you. Thank you. Do I have to do these again? Please say no. No, good. I already did all the puzzles. I don't want to do them again. There's so many of these things. I don't even know where I'm going. Over here, I think. Where that light is. We are checking for enemies present in the junkyard. Well, these look like enemies, but I think they're just like animals. Kind of running around no oh well i love to use the force this way one of you is an enemy shoot uh, don't shoot me it's so rude who is it who have we got who have we got no go away who is it it's nate nate you are a skitten haha -ha. oh no okay uh do I have water rift? No. Great. Uh, then in that case, let's do a fire rift. Uh, and I would like... Oh, I can jam the, the thing. Perfect. Yes, I love jamming thing. <laughs> Yay, I'm evil. I'm glad you enjoy. You like to think misunderstood. Welcome, we wake. Hello. Well, you're currently causing me some problems, Nate, I'm afraid. So, uh, I'm going to have to kill you. So sorry about that. Let's move Isaurus closer. It's raining cats and dogs. Yeah, it is. How are you doing today, Wewake? I hope it's a good day. Uh, the fire... Why did I do fire when it's resistant to fire? Because I'm silly, that's why. 
Let's do a gravity pull then. Whack! I shall return stronger, faster. Oh, the other skitten. I didn't realize there was two skittens. But this other skitten appears to be somebody as well. Who is it? Hen Hen Chi Shan. What a great what a great name I could pronounce. <laughs> I'm good at this. Okay. Uh, this this uh, turret is on my side, which is good. I will get you. Why is it just running around? Uh, they're quite mobile, so I don't want to use an area effect. I will commend your soul. To the Come gods. here. Probably got to get rid of this. Ha! <laughs> it's stuck. Oh, it's not stuck. It's gonna blow me up. Fabulous. Oh well. Isaurus is the tank for a reason. What is that and why does it have hit points? Oh, that's an explosive thing. Um. <laughs> I love it when turrets are on my side. Pendracaris! Welcome! RPG day is best day. It is best day. It's especially best day when I when it's not crashing. <laughs> Because somehow, it somehow did it off stream and didn't crash at all. So here we are. <laughs> oh, we got loads from that. Horse nettle, dark seed, fulgurite, ambrosia reed, yarn. The one I can never pronounce. Homunculium. <laughs> Another horse nettle and a skitten tail. Decent day, lots of tasks at work. Ugh. I hate it when you get given so many different tasks. It's like, no, I just want to do my thing. Can I get can I get through this way? I don't think I can. Oh well, at least it's decent. That's better than bad. Uh oh! Didn't get that before. Hello. A destitute noble vest. Well that sounds like something for Isaurus. You gonna lurk? That's alright. Got encounters to build. Ooh, spicy. We love we love some good encounters. <laughs> Uh, eight pap. Let me see. What is Isaurus wearing? He's already wearing that. This one's better. Let's have that. Thank you. Oh, that's even better. Oh, he can have that then. He's got some fancy, fancy schmancy stuff. All righty. Yep. Any better? No. What about the boots? Three. No. Seven. No. Okay. I'll check check over Celine as well. Why not? Uh, three, 40. The Admiral's corset. Ooh. That is a very fancy corset for the Admiral. Six. Nope. And four. Okay. Seems good. Right. Back. Oh, don't. I don't want to kill you. Is this the way I came? Yes. Oh, go away. Let us carefully appraise the situation. Oh, Celine, you want to carefully appraise the situation, do you? That doesn't sound very Celine like. <laughs> okay, what do we got? We got two more skittens. Who is it? Mogul Mail. You are a skitten. Welcome. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, so, not fire rift. Use the gravity pull. Are there any turrets here that I can that I can? Oh, there's one round the corner. It doesn't seem very close to me. Over there and, and on the right. Okay, in that case, uh, can you be a Nekaru instead? Unfortunately, I'm afraid you can't, Nate. Sorry. If you don't work on them, I, I won't be able to do this. That's fair. As in, like, the tasks at work. Yeah. Work be like that. I have decided this week, because I get to work when I like, which is nice, 
uh, that I'm gonna just go in first thing tomorrow morning and I'm gonna just stay as long as I need to. Because that way I don't ha have to worry about it. Because on the one hand, it's very useful to be able to be like, this is when I'm gonna do my work this week. But on the other hand, it means I'm like constantly thinking about it and thinking about when I need to do things for and stuff like that. Whereas this way, I can just go right. Just check my emails every day. Make sure there's nothing that I need to be doing. Oh, I'm in range. And then I can be like, actually, I'm going to go to work tomorrow and I don't have to worry about it before then. Which is nice. Can I reach the... Nope. I want to jam the turret. Don't shoot me. I want to jam it. Yes. My turret now. Hey, hey, hey. Drag, welcome. How are you doing today? Oh, well, that was rude. No. Wait. Oh, I'll just hit Celine if I do that. Fuck. Okay, I guess, I guess she's getting blown up. Oh, but that's the end. Nice. Oh, glad to hear you're good, Chirag. How am I? I'm, I'm very good, you know. I had a nice little trip into town this morning. I bought myself a calendar because I forgot to buy a calendar for this year. Uh, and I bought myself a calendar from the bookshop. It's a Tolkien one. I've got lovely pictures, lovely, like, pretty landscapes and pictures that's, like, based on Tolkien books every month of the year. And it's, it's right up there. And it's so nice to look at. <laughs> what did we get? A purple superior gemstone. A couple of horse nettle, a couple of ta tantalium grey, and coachman's friend. And hide. Loads of stuff. Yay, Tolkien art! Exactly. I don't think it's it's not like official. Or oh, it might be official. I don't that that's very bright. I can't see a thing. Oh my oh that's the way I've gotta go? No. Why is it so bright? Goodness. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it's just it's just by an artist. There's like a whole uh, page. The 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 type is quite small as well. The font is small. There's like a whole page where he's written a whole big thing about like I, I haven't read it yet, but about how like um, how he did it and like what the joy of like drawing, talking stuff. And I was like, this is great. I love this. It was that or like a comedy one about Darth Vader and his family. And I thought, I, I thought as much as that's funny, I'm not a funny calendar person, you know? Here are the barrels. Mm -hmm. I knew these would come in handy someday. Oh, when you wanted to make a dramatic alert, but your internet phase you, fails you. Oh no! What, what kind of dramatic alert were you trying to do? <laughs> we love, we love internet failures, you know? They're, they're great, you know. <laughs> Isaurus, what's wrong? Don't you want to help the people of Tyrkalem? Before you guys came along, I was pretty horrible to these people. Granted, they were horrible to me too. For a good while, I wasn't Isaurus to them. I was the corrosion survivor, and that apparently entitled them to do a lot of things to me for their research. I mean, to be fair... Wait, wait! Thank you so much! Gifting five tiers one subs to the community. And look at that! Going to all the wonderful people. <laughs> oh, thank you so much! You are too kind. You know, Nate, unfortunately, I don't think you're ever going to be a uh, number one on the leaderboard again. <laughs> we wake has thrashed you. <laughs> yeah, it was a good random, wasn't it? We got Jazz and RP, we got Betty, and Luna as well. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Loads more subscribers. Oh, this reminds me. I haven't put anything up for, uh, for to pick for the subscribers to pick the game for Friday. Uh -huh. Loads of people to to pick the game. <laughs> You're not even striking distance. No, Wake is doing amazing. I might, you know, 
At the rate you're going, I might even have to change the leaderboard from all time to like monthly or something. <laughs> Uh, back to the game quickly. This, I mean, on the one hand, it's really shit what Isaurus has gone through. But also, Fallon did sell, literally sell him to the people of Tirkalem. A bargain was made, of which his consent was not gained. Thank you so much for the hydration, uh, Faye. Faye, why are you not asleep? Go to sleep. Getting paid is necessary for purchasing Twitch sub. Yes, it is, sadly. <laughs> and now, uh, oh wait, you get a nice reward from, for, as your hug from a cuddly friend. Who should we pick today? Who shall we pick? I could, I could pick like a big one today. Right, this is who we're gonna have today. Big boy. <laughs> you had too much caffeine, oh no. We do appreciate you awake. Here is your cuddly friend I've chosen to say his head is a bit... He's designed to kind of sit in a corner, so he's looking sideways. <laughs> I believe that the, this guy was named by Luna and Faye together. His name is Gregory P. Umpkin. As in pumpkin. <laughs> and he would like to give you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's your hug. He, he, honestly, you look at these teddy bears and you're like, they're not going to be that fluffy. It's quite fluffy. Like, it's not like cat fluffy, you know? But it's fluffy. Very nice for hugs. And a hug for you too. And now, here you go. Does he need to sit like this? Or shall I sit him like this so we can see his face? Oh, let's see his face. That's quite nice. There we go. Where are my headphones? <laughs> so wholesome. It is wholesome. Honestly, uh... You know what's not wholesome though is having too many toys uh, on your bed so that when you try to sleep the um, duvet gets caught underneath them. <laughs> but I love them all! It's so nice to have a bed full of cuddly toys! <laughs> and on this lovely wholesome note, on to a slightly more horrifying note in which Azorius is going to tell us about the many experiments he was subject to without his consent <laughs> what kind of things experiments needles scanners electrodes painful stuff couldn't you say no would they have stopped if i did with the promise of a cure to the corrosion at the tips of their fingers yikes ha 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 malpractice yeah exactly I mean, to be fair, this isn't even, like, healthcare professionals. These are just scientists. Well, that's still malpractice. But... <laughs> they didn't even bother to ask if I was okay with it. And in truth, I didn't bother to tell them that I wasn't. Besides, the lives of Yikes. thousands of people depended on those experiments. I was in no position to say no. That's... you, you can always say no. <laughs> That I was in a position to resent them. To resent the world itself. Oh dear. When their research proved fruitless, they tossed me aside. Just like... Just like my family when they learned I had the corrosion. Poor buddy. So, I became horrible to these people. To everyone in Tirkalem. It was... Justified. But you still want to help them now, don't you? Somehow, yes. Aww. I've been living here. Learned to walk on these two cold, hard protuberances I loathe to call legs. Played a few stupid games with those impossibly noisy kids. Oh. I support because this stream brings a smile to my face. Oh, no other reason. I'm glad it brings a smile to your face. That's what we're aiming to do. To make people happy. So the real reward is you being happy. <laughs> yeah, see? Turning it around. Take that. <laughs> as much as I want to hate this city, it's still the place where I came back to life. It's a pile of junk, alright. 
but I won't let this doppelganger or whatever mess with it. Mm. And how does your red pendant fit into all this? Oh yeah! Hey Betty! Welcome! How are you doing today? You have just been gifted a sub from the wonderful Wewake. <laughs> Daily reminder, it's been four days since subscription badge was requested. It's coming. It's coming. It's very nearly there, actually. <laughs> Don't you worry. <laughs> Betty might know a thing or two. But his secrets. <laughs> and that's all I'll say about that. There's still a part of me stirring inside telling me I have every right to make the world suffer just as much as I did. It's destructive. It's ugly. Mm -hmm. But it's there. My lips are sealed. My face is a mask. So is mine. Yes? <laughs> but this pendant somehow helps me to quiet that voice down. What is it? Huh. Wait, so he has some kind of Antidepressant magic necklace? Where can I get one of those? <laughs> a reminder of something I aspired to be a long time ago. I'm still fond of that memory. Oh. Mm. Okay, we got what we came for. Let's go back to the reactor. Did I go all the way to the junkyard just to get these barrels? Is this Isaurus's home? If you weren't here when we started playing this game, this is this is where Isaurus is home. This is where he lived. This is this was his chair that he sat in. Uh, it's not very nice. <laughs> but now he's with us and we're looking after him. Barrels and backstory, exactly. We're getting some good backstory. Oh, another chest. I must have missed that on the way here, unless I'm going the wrong way. Woo! Gauss handgun. Very cool. Am I going the wrong way? I honestly cannot tell. We did go past the weird... Massively... Oh, go away! Massively bright sunlight thing, didn't we? So, I guess this is the right way. It's impossible to tell in the junkyard, because everything looks the same. <laughs> Blade handle through head. Oh, right, yes. <laughs> hmm. You know, it's it's the most convenient place to put your scythe because then you don't have to get it out. You just have to, like, do headbang a bit and you can hit people. <laughs> now I'm going to spend the afternoon thinking about Gauss physics and how cool they are. Um, I will not join you on that purely because I can't really remember what, what, are, what they are. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's a dead end. I remember doing it. Can't remember what it was. <laughs> Using your brain as a weapon. Remastered 2022. <laughs> yep. I mean, it, you, you, know, you know your joke. Maybe in the future. This is also not the way I... I hate the junkyard. I get so lost. It's a weird place because, like, there, there's a load of, there's a ton of, like, pathways. So this is the way I went. What? I just came from this way, didn't I? Oh, my God. And I can't see the map bigger, either. I already came from, I swear I came from this way. It's like there's a whole load of paths and you think, oh, I just follow the path, but no. It's not as simple as that. Um. Oh, well, there's a save point. Uh, is this the entrance? No. Very strange. Might as well save, why not? Okay, well, maybe it's this way? No! I survived the corrosion, so I might as well survive. <laughs> I love that Isaurus is only alive because he's like, Ugh. 
I might as I might as well. You know. <laughs> He's like, I might as well survive. <laughs> Oh, hang on. This skitten is is a, is a viewer. Who is it? It's Chirag. This is you. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. I'm sorry. You're on the other side. <laughs> Get back here. Ah, oh, so rude. Oh, this is Celine. Uh, can I reach that one over there? No. Get rid of that horrible mine. I will commend your soul to the gods. Yeah, you're not surviving much longer, little skitten. Not if I have anything to to say about it. Haha. <laughs> By the will of the gods. Sorry, Chirag, but you're about to die. <laughs> Out of the way. Boom. Nice. What have I still got to do? Do I have to get rid of that mine? Is that what's going on here? Huh. Whack. This isn't even Chirag's final form. Shh. I know. I'm choosing to ignore it. Because <laughs> I'm going to run away from his final form. Because it will probably beat me. Do -do 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 -do. Hide Thunder Amber, Yarn, Tantalium Grey, Wool Seed, and a Skitten Tail. Okay, is this the way out? I'm pretty sure this is not the way I came. Maybe it was. Ooh, another chest. Oh, there's a skitten in front of it. Let me get the chest. This is not necessary. Damn it. <clears throat> okay, what have we got? What have we got? We've got a skitten over there. Another one over here. That appears to be it. Okay. Can I get both of them at once? No, the other one's too far away. Uh, okay, I'll just hit it then. The other one's running away. How dare it! Hey, where are you going? Come back! No! Ha! Take that. Okay, let's go get the other one. No, I need to move forward. Ooh! That was weird. <laughs> Get rid of that. Don't want anyone blowing up on my watch. Okay, are you near enough? Yes. Get him! I will commend your soul to the gods. Oh, whoops. Come back! I don't want to have to kill another mine. On lurk mode. That's alright! I have an online meeting with people from the other side of the world. Ooh! All I seek is peace. Well, it is still exciting that you get to see other people from the other side of the world. That is very cool. I hope it's a good meeting and not too long. <laughs> Out of the way! Darkness before dawn. Ha! Take that. Take that too. Whack. Nice. Very good.
Fulgurite, horse nettle. Oh, you got a blue superior gemstone. Skit and whisker, more horse nettle, celestium, ardent lazuli, and another skit and whisker. Lots of whiskers. And it was a potion plus. Okay, well, potion pluses are good. At least it wasn't a normal potion. That would have been annoying. I don't feel that this is the right way. Homunculium. I assume that's how you say it because I always have trouble with it. If I'm going the wrong way. No, wait. I saw that on the way in, didn't I? The, the lights. Oh, I have a feeling it was on the other side. Oh, I've got no idea. Um... When we came in the junkyard before, I approached from this direction and went that way. I'm trying to get to the exit. I was just at a save point, wasn't I? You know, the save point's where you can bloody teleport. Ah. <laughs> uh... Can I go this way? No. This must be the way. But I've just come from here. <sighs> I don't understand. I don't understand. See, the thing you gotta you gotta know about me is I have a very, very bad sense of direction. In general, in real life. And this spills over into things like this in video games when I can't see the whole map and I can't see where I'm supposed to be going. I'm just like, nope. No idea. No idea at all. Don't fight me. Traitor, lend me your strength. I will get you both. You will never stand a Justice chance against me. Haha. <laughs> Oi! Where are you going? Get back here. This is why skittens are annoying, because they run away from you. So that they can blow you up with their thingamajiggies. And then you can't hit them if they run away. It's very annoying and very inconsiderate, really. And then they do stuff like that. What? I can't attack it? Why not? Uh, okay, Azorius is going to blow up. That's fine, he's a tank. Oh, oh, oh! I can defuse it! I didn't know that was a thing! It's still there. I'm slightly worried. He's just standing on a defused mine, I guess. That That's fine. Yes. We're getting good at killing these skittens. Getting good at it. Da -da -da -ba -ba -ba. What do we get? Fulgurite, horse nestle, tantalium grey, more horse nestle than hide. Yeah. Okay, this time, instead of just getting hopelessly confused, I'm going to save the game. And I'm then going to teleport. Here we go, to the entrance. This is how we do things. Talk to the chief mechanic. I can do that. Let's go. I'd, uh, yeah, I just saved, didn't I? <laughs> just in case it crashes again. Do, 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 do.
please don't crash again. Because that took a lot of a lot of uh, resources from the computer just to do that. And it hasn't even loaded yet. I'm like whacking this wooden desk. Please don't. I don't know. I've heard this loading music before. Oh, phew. Yes. It has like a sort of series of like four or five piano pieces for the for the loading music. But I don't think I've ever heard that one. A loot box! Thank you so much! Potion plus! Fun, fun, fun! I want to try and see what this campfire means up here. Because if you see along the top, we've got the it, we've got the uh, the 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 symbols. I've never seen a campfire one before. What is this? Campfire and oh, this is strange. The clove bean temptation to redeem the space story instead of being patient for accent. Ah, uh, well they're there. You can use whichever one you like. Oh, well, why, why is it why is it a campfire as well as a bed symbol? Weird. Well, I don't need to sleep right now. <laughs> hmm. Well, you know, you, you got to interact with the stream and you know watch the stream so you can get all your channel points and then you can have both <laughs> any quests for me no conclusion distract self with snacks as you should yes when you don't know what to do distract yourself with snacks that is the correct course of action <laughs> what snacks are you having? Hi, Chief Mechanic. <laughs> gotta admit, you got us out of a pinch here. Yeah, because I'm in I'm incredibly clever. Hmm. What comes as a surprise is that you're unquestionably accepting these barrels without even checking if I'm pulling some pranks or not. No need. There's a good look on your face. Look at someone who finally decided to pull his head out of his butt. <laughs> I love that the uh, the subtitle say to pull his face out of his butt, which is a whole new a whole new um, phrase, and I love it. You don't know, very indecisive. You know, I had not noticed, Nate. <laughs> Welcome, Ariel. How are you doing today? Nate's trying to decide snacks. <laughs> Oh, shove it. You can tell Terranus we're okay over here. Or, if you want to be a trooper, go help the other guys around the city. They're busy with their stuff, too. No, yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> There's still one yeah in that answer. Oh, please. <laughs> Make further preparations for the impending attack. Talk to Terranus when done. Okay, I will. Oh, that's a lot of people here. I can't leave the city. Okay. So it seems like... Alright, a little tired. That's fair. It's, you know, it's still January and everyone's like... Ugh, from Christmas, so... I'm good! Gotta head off now. That's alright, Betty. Thank you for joining for a little bit. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Starting with water. Good. Water's good. Maybe some sesame crackers. Ooh. On the road. Item on the road. Don't know what that means. Ooh. Hello, do you need help? Ah, Sir Firebrand, the finest palette in Tier Calum. I've been expecting you. Uh, I'm not Sir Firebrand. I imagine you're here to discuss the menu. Sesame crackers, dried apricots, and frozen peaches. Ooh. You are living the dream, aren't you? The menu? The menu for the guests, of course. There are several choices available. All of them delightful, of course. 
but I fear that our very limited resources won't allow us to prepare more than one. And with your exquisite tastes, I'm sure you can help me narrow it down. By menu, do you mean... Celine, as you probably know already, some of the ciphers here are former nobles from Avarice. And, like most Avarine bourgeoisie... Whoa, that was an interesting way of saying that word. Bourgeoisie! <laughs> I'm here to discuss the menu, thanks. Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> they strive to avoid any kind of clear language in favour of obscure and pretentious repartee. Rightly so, and if I may add, there are a few things more appalling in this world than mundane discussions about defensive machinery. So when she asks us which course we should choose for the guests, she... Uh -huh. What you're trying to say is that she's speaking in metaphors. Metaphors, yes. That's the word I was looking for. She's the chief engineer, and we must help her decide which is the best defense system to welcome our guests. Right. Is this... What... Rich people are weird in in <laughs> in real life, but also in this game. <laughs> Going with hummus and celery. Mwah. I'm not a big fan of celery, I'm not going to lie, but with hummus, it's okay. <laughs> so first, there is what I call the fiery barbecue. A traditional grilled dish to delight the senses. It's a safe choice, but if you want to please a large number of our guests... Okay, I got this one. It's flamethrowers. But the important thing here is to grill it long enough for the meat to be nice and crisp. This kind of dish needs constant attention or else you can easily overcook or undercook the meat. Constant attention from us at all times. The second is the sure bet. This is a fiery one, truly a culinary wonder and the chef's speciality. Take the first bite and let the fiery flavour take all your troubles away. The defense system will be mostly automated. The first bite means we have to switch it on first. Nice one! And last, we have the paneer garni. This is a bit of a mixed bag. A panache, if you will. A bit risky. A few surprise treats. A sprinkling of mystical and technological ingredients. But I'm sure all our guests will find something to suit their tastes. Anna. What? Does that dish even exist? Is this going to be a cooking mini game? No, it's not, I'm afraid, Ariel. Uh, firstly, this game doesn't really have mini games, but also, we've established that this person is just posh and doesn't want to talk about the defense systems in actual words and is instead going to only refer to them as culinary dishes. And we have to interpret what she says to work out what defense system she means, which is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a metaphor for violence. It is. She means a sort of medley. A little bit of everything. Technological or magical. Some crystals, I suppose. Also, the panier garni is a typical East Valian dish. How do you know that? That's where my mother comes from. So what will you choose? Well, I've got to go for the one that's everything, haven't I? I'm bisexual. I'm going to pick both. <laughs> Excellent choice. I get the feeling you'd say that no matter what I choose. Yes. But feel free to let me know if you decide to switch to another option. Will do. Sad. It is sad. Why is this person in charge of the defences? I agree. Why is this person in charge of the defences? It seems... Very stupid. Ooh, a loot box! Why, thank you so much! Another firebomb could be very useful, yes. Okay. Who do we need to talk to next? This person? Hello. And greetings to our esteemed Chief of Security! Don't bother with a review of the troops, Isaurus. You've done enough already. Oh, I know that tone. I've done something wrong, haven't I? I'd say yes. 
When Tyrannus told us someone was planning an attack on Tyr Kalim, I managed to get those guys on board quickly. They were pretty excited, ready for anything. But when they learned that the intelligence came from you, they started thinking it was another one of your stupid shenanigans. It would make a good shenanigan, I admit. But when they found out you were appointed as some kind of special advisor, that was the nail in the coffin. They stopped taking it seriously. Now they're treating it as nothing more than a drilling exercise. The hummus and celery was a good choice. Oh, I'm glad. I accidentally bought double the celery for a soup you were planning. Oh no! Well, gotta eat the celery then. It's healthy, it's all good. Gotta use it up. Exactly. On top of that, three of them simply decided it wasn't worth their time and just left. What can I say? Maybe your men have a discipline problem. Listen, Buster. I already got enough trouble as it is to keep these... These children in line without you botching things up. So either you find a way to clean up your mess or you stay far away from here. Got it? Clean up my mess. Okay. Should I bring some kind of map? Uh, mop? Or... I'm already this close to breaking your jaw, buddy. And boy, I really need to keep my jaw intact to keep infuriating people. Okay, what can I do to fix this? Convince them that the threat is real and bring them back here. Who are we talking about? Draren, Nalia, and... Ozar. Ozar? Oh boy. I may take you up on your offer to break my jaw. It'll be less painful if you're doing it rather than him. What's wrong with Ozar? He's one of the few permanent guards in the city and one of the few that has any real military background. This city's best soldier. And he hates my guts. Half of the course, really, when you know his Horus. <laughs> Why? Hey, how should I know? I stopped keeping records a long time ago. Does this mean you did keep records at one point? Anything to pass the time. Own up to your crap, Isaurus. Convince him that the threat is real. Draven and Nalian look up to him. They'll come back if he does. Then we'll have a real shot at pulling this off. If the threat is real, of course. Huh. They're somewhere in the junkyard. Really? I've just been there. I've just been to the junkyard. <laughs> yeah, Isaurus is great. <laughs> right, let's see. Uh, I wish I could see the, uh, like, internal maps of Tyr Kalim and stuff. Uh, like, closer. Okay, uh... I believe we should do... Convince the militia that the threat is real. Okay, we should do this side quest. I don't think we have to do this side quest, but this definitely strikes me as the kind of situation where if you do all of the side quests in this city before you do the big battle, then the big battle will be easier. So that's what I'm going to do. <sighs> I, think, I think there's only two exclamation marks it's kind of hard to tell because all i have to go on is that top bar we've already dealt with one this is the second i'm paranoid about this uh, junkyard now so i'm just gonna save it <laughs> <laughs> ye old grind exactly i don't think it's too many i think it's just these two we've got to go in and not get killed by ozar <laughs> Oh, apologies, everybody. The problem... Oh, no, again? Is it going to do this every time I try and go into the junkyard? But it only seems to happen on stream. That's so weird. Oh, well. Uh, I guess we won't be doing this uh, side quest. <laughs> Wish me luck.
let's start up again. This is why I saved it immediately before going in the junkyard, because I was like, I don't trust this. I don't trust it. I was right not to trust it. Maybe it's something to do with OBS being open at the same time. That's really weird. And it's clearly not the junkyard entrance itself because it worked back when we did it the first time. Hmm. Strange. relaxing music when we're about to do a massive battle I blame Isaurus you know maybe it is Isaurus's fault you joke but if that's one of those weird freaky things about games where it's like if I change the party leader to Celine will it fix it <laughs> and then it would be Isaurus's fault okay well here we are exactly where I saved it perfect we're not going to do that quest. Oh, wrong button. Do, 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 do. Track the main quest. Make further preparations. Uh, talk to Tyrannus when done. Hopefully. Where is Tyrannus? Presumably she's by the entrance. So let's go see her. Hopefully I don't have to do this. Because the engineer guy was like, oh, go and talk to Tyrannus. Or you could help people, other people in the city. So hopefully that means I don't have to. Is this the way? I don't know. I tend to just run around until I, I, I find where I'm supposed to go. Bum, 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 bum. Up the stairs. Okay, I assume she's here. Is she here? Uh, no. We've got some soldiers and some techno mages. Uh, okay, well I guess... Oh, she's up by that big crystal thing over there. All the way to the other end of the city. Let's go. Whee! Up the other end. I should probably check the weapons benches and stuff, but I don't have all of the party members currently, so I'd rather wait until they're all back. If you remember from last week, currently... Oh, here we are. Ah, and a oh. round of applause to me for not messing up everything I touched today. Mm-hmm. Uh, Darian and Fallon are currently being ambushed in a cave. <laughs> we don't know what's happened to them. You should give yourself a break, you know. Since you've joined our group, Darian and I have done nothing but rely on you. I mean, this is true. You've also belittled him at every opportunity. <laughs> is our supremacy? Oh, but I still have time to sink our little enterprise. I'm pretty sure I'll slip up at some point. Just give it time. Enough self-loathing and self-pity, Isaurus. We've had enough of that. You've had enough of that. She's right, you know. I know what you've been trying to do. And it won't work. Yeah, it won't I work. I have no idea how low I've stooped over. Because you can't just cure depression by being nice to someone for a day. That's not how it works. <laughs> My past is not the kind of slate you can just wipe clean. You won't make me feel better by slapping me on the shoulder and telling me I've been a good boy. This, yes. This. I've been exploiting the goodwill of so many people like you, even long before I caught the corrosion. I'm not by any stretch of the word a good person. And that horrible man has been fittingly punished for the matching body. So, save your fancy words. I'm way past any kind of self-respect. I mean, he's also not doing himself any favors, but... Game telling it like it is. It is! 
you do have to at least pretend to respect yourself, you know, and then eventually you, you will. I'm sorry you've become so afraid of being cast away. That you feel the need to denigrate yourself at every occasion. And I'm sorry that I'm not kind enough to hide the painful truth from you. But I trust you. Aw. I ship Isoris and CBT and SSRIs. Yes, so do I. <laughs> Give Isaurus some therapy. Sneezewees, welcome in! How are you doing today? I hope it's a fabulous day. We're having a therapy session with Isaurus here. He's telling us about how he's a terrible person and he's undeserving of any kind of respect, which is obviously not true. However, he does have depression, so... <laughs> so deal with it. Uh. <laughs> Long sigh. She's so yes... Really a really great, a really great point to jump in. <laughs> hmm. Hey, wait. Is my battery acting up? <gasps> oh. oh, it's not a power surge. It's. Oh, it's his. It says he says it's my heart. I mean, he didn't say oh, it, but. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're good, Sneeze Wheeze. The priestess needs some more counselling training. Yeah, she definitely does. I don't know if it's, like, necessarily part of her, uh, her workplace training, though, so it should be forgiven for not being, you know, a proper counsellor. <laughs> hmm? Any reason why you're staying behind? I mean, I'm literally leading. Sorry, I was... Daydream. We should report to Tyrannus. Interesting. Tyrannus! Hello! Have you made preparations? Yes. I've done everything I could. Can I kick back now? They're coming! I Here guess that's our cue. You and Tyrannus were right. They really are coming for us. There's too many of them to count! Yeah, we didn't lie! Chin up, Chief. Your Caleb's a tough nut to crack. We're entrusting you with the reactor. Don't forget, you can only use it once. Make it count. Yeah. I know. You ready? This is going to be a strategic battle, and I'm going to be so bad at it. I'm always ready. <laughs> he does have a cool scythe, doesn't he? I have a feeling we might not be using the cool scythe very much in this battle because I think it's going to be more on the sort of commanding side. <laughs> so many of them. Okay. Ready. Fire. Oh! Let's give them hell. Got your back. Okay. We've got two big, a little gun over there. There's a big gun over there. Uh, and a turret here, which I assume is on our side. Okay. Uh, let's see what this does. I'm going to take the potentially, the potentially lethal decision to split them up go artillery exactly well i don't want to shoot anything yet because there's nothing there so i guess she's just going to wait where she is let's get isaurus over here oh is this the reactor this is the thing that i can only use once that make that would make sense isn't it okay here they are i probably shouldn't use it right now then already wasted so many I'm going to try and keep Isaurus around here can he do anything to like boost the electronics he can only jam stuff which is not really very useful to me right now hmm do I attack them don't really want to Hmm. 
I think I need to figure out what they're gonna do before I can figure out like my strategy for this. Go, Celine, go! Oh, it only shoots there. <gasps> All right, then that's not useful. Right, we need to lure them into this in front of here. So, hmm, gravity pull will work. Let's do that. Okay, okay, okay. They get, they get, they're coming. They're coming. There are so many enemies in this fight. Yikes! Look at all the, them go. They were they were just in a good position. Uh, oh my god! How many goes are they getting? Okay, if I press this, oh, I see that goes across the across the side there. This is definitely not the time to use it. So, back. Hey, are we back? Oh, I haven't got any captions open. Give me a sec. <laughs> uh, so basically, everything... There we go. That should work. There we are. <laughs> Welcome back to the stream. Basically, I was playing the game. It's all good. Uh, and then I glanced over and everything had just stopped. And I was like, great, game's still running, it's fine. So I tried to like click off the game to like see what's going on. And everything on this side, everything on this screen, completely just not responding. The the sticky notes that I had across it, not responding. Everything just was like, oh, okay. So I tried to do a control or delete. Uh, and that fucked everything. Uh, <laughs> didn't seem to work, so I was like, okay. It wouldn't even move the mouse, like it was like, moving in tiny little bits every like two minutes eventually the screen went black and i was like oh it's trying to load uh it's trying to load the control or delete screen but no this time uh it has frozen because i'm opening steam <laughs> I don't even know if you can hear this, but it's coming up on the microphone. <laughs> oh, captions. Why are you doing this? Go away. There we are. <laughs> so yes, maybe a bit choppy for a, for a little while while I load the game. <laughs> it's thinking about it still. But hey, thank you for coming back, Nate and Ariel. I literally had to, I was like, the thing is sometimes my computer does this where it, if you try and do too many things at once, or if you try and open Chrome, because you know, Chrome's Chrome, it like, it will, uh, it will just like be really slow for a bit and you've just got to kind of let it do its thing. It usually takes a few minutes and then eventually it'll, things will start running properly again. So I was like, yeah, let's let it do its, I'll let it do its thing, it's fine. Uh, and it was sat there like black screen for so long. I was like, so eventually I had to like hard restart it, which I really didn't want to do when I had a million things open. But hopefully nothing's got fucked. The game seems to have started, no problem. So <laughs> I think we'll be okay. Where is my mouse? Okay. Uh, it means that everything that I did have open, I now don't have open. So bear with me. Oh. That's pinned, lovely. Okay, I think we, we don't need this music. Bye! Edge of Eternity music! Turn it up a bit. Turn it up a bit. There we go. 
Much nicer. How is the levels? Please, again, tell me if the levels are weird. Right, we're going to need to go back to the last place I saved, which I don't think was that long ago. In fact, it might have auto-saved at the beginning of the fight. That would be good if it did that. That would be really good. I could correct my mistakes. <laughs> If you were on here when it, like, randomly started up again, <laughs> what, what did you see? Because I couldn't see anything. I just had a black screen. I got the notification through that it was like, Chloe's live again, and I was like, am I? <laughs> I did put the cover over my webcam because I didn't want that to happen and you to just see me, like, doing this or, like, making weird faces. <laughs> I think this is my favourite one of the piano pieces that we hear on the loading screens. It looked like the last frame of the game. Fair, yeah. I, I presume you had like the, the, the black webcam because I put the cover over. Yeah. I'm kinda, I kind of wish I hadn't put the cover over now because I'm intrigued to see whether you would have seen me. <laughs> right, we're here. I'm not even going to try and go in the junkyard because... I don't want to, uh, I don't want to crash it again. <laughs> okay, we've had this cutscene. We don't need to see it again. Ah. Goodbye. I've been alive for a little while, Stream Elements. <laughs> Get your shit together. Hmm? <gasps> Any reason why you're staying behind? A space story. Sorry. Oh my gosh. What should we talk Feed about? It. What shall we, we should talk about? The hmm. Would you like to... Would you like to hear about the Pleiades? I like the Pleiades. I have a... Uh, I have a story about them involving the, hearts. <laughs> I guess that's... Uh, we've, we've heard this already. So, the Pleiades, if you don't already know, is a open cluster of stars, which the May difference. I sit this one out? Yeah, no, you can't. Just as Taurus, sorry. There's a. It's in the constellation of Taurus. Ready. And it has. Fire. It's like a group of stars that all like formed at the same time, so they're they're right next to each other. Let's give them hell. Don't Let's do it. I'm not gonna separate them this time. Uh, and basically, they're also known as the Seven Sisters. Is another name for them. And actually, I should have Isaurus man the gun, shouldn't I? <laughs> I'm going to keep them together. So they, there's known as the Seven Sisters because, generally speaking, you can see seven like seven stars in the in it with the naked eye. It's the only cluster you can see with the naked eye. Uh, technically speaking, you can see up to fourteen with the naked eye, but that's you know you need really really good. Um, like vision like clear skies and stuff to see that and really good vision uh presumably this is not going to be good right now no i'm gonna kinetic barrier us uh but you can really see c7 and uh it's one of those things where you have to look to like slightly to the side to be able to see it because it's quite faint now the interesting part of the story is that did you know that in japanese Seven Sisters roughly translates to uh, as Subaru, and if you notice, you know the the Subaru car and the like logo, it's got the Seven Sisters on it because it's named after them. So that's your space story for the day. <coughs> Did it while holding in a cough and everything. <laughs> Can Celine do any magic -y magic stuff or is she too far away? Oh, I can get this dude. Yes, please. <coughs> it is 
is neat. Yeah, I think it is. I uh, just randomly found that when I was researching for a show one day, and I was like, oh, that's a fun fact. No! What? They didn't move last time! How can they move now? What? I am mad. Waste of a thunder rift. Waste of a thunder rift. Oh, it, that one's attacking. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm definitely using this now. Boom. I'm going to put Celine over there because if that kills those turrets, uh, I'm going to be severely disadvantaged. <laughs> Can I heal a turret? Can I do that? I never even thought to try. Ooh. I suppose I could give it a go. Uh, let's have Azorius stay where he is and Selene is going to go that way. Total Cherries, welcome in! How are you doing today? Look at all those fabulous emotes. <laughs> they look like a lot of fun. Uh, shall I use the... Why can't... Oh, I probably can't use it more than once in a go. Okay, I'm going to put him here. Haha, -ha, you ain't getting me! Uh, off she goes. Not with my kinetic barrier, you're not. Oh, I'm glad you're doing well. Yeah, I'm not too bad. Just had a uh, uh, rather uh, tumultuous uh, <laughs> break in the stream uh, where my computer just died. But we're back now and everything seems to be working fine. That's what we like to see. Right, can I... Heal a turret. Oh, it has to be Selene or Azorius, I think. I think I have to be next to it anyway. Just in a work meeting. Ah. Well, I hope it's not too boring a work meeting. Sometimes they can be interesting. No, I can't heal the turret, which is most annoying. No, I don't want to. Definitely, definitely don't want to use that because I can only use it once. Uh, okay. Uh, let's get her here. Can Azorius use this again? Oh, it's yellow. Yellow means I can use it. Fabulous. Am I far enough away? It moved last time. Mm. I don't want to do an area of effect because I... Ugh, really? I don't want it to move. Get out the way, Celine. At least these things don't seem to have as much hit points as they usually do. Like the Bostons. Are they Bostons or Gurns? I think they were Gurns. I could get them all in like one go. Uh, let's do a Fire Rift. Good old Fire Rift. Ah! Don't target me. It's so rude. Darkness before dawn. Aha. Yes. Get it. Yeah. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. Don't get cocky. Yes, my general. Okay, let's get Celine over here. In case we need to use the reactor. And Azorus can go here. Okay, they're in position. Oh, wait. Is this a good time? Or do I want to wait for another wave? You know what? I'm going to do it. Fuck it. Boom! Okay, can't use that again. to the thing that I that I 
chose when it was like which one of these do you want do you want the the big one or the little one or, or whatever where's that hey Finn blow welcome in how are you doing today I hope it's a fabulous day I've n you know what this uh oh hang on let me Ta -da! You know, having to restart the stream might have worked in my favour, you see, because now everyone's getting new stream notifications. <laughs> What's the story so far? Why did you have to ask me in the middle of my strategic combat? <laughs> so, we started with Darian, who is not here currently. Darian is a soldier who deserted, who basically, the prologue was like, everyone, all of his friends died. And he was like, no! Oh dear. Special attack time! And then... Uh, I took my booster shot and feel like I've been ran over by a truck. Oh no! How about you? Yeah, I'm not too bad. I had my booster last week and I had no problems with it. But then I haven't had any side effects for any of the vaccinations, so... Uh, it's not unusual for me. Um... But yes, all of Darian's friends died, and then he decided to desert from the army, which is, like, led by the consort, who are, like, the church. He decided to desert so he, because his sister, Selene, who is this priestess woman here, asked him to, so that they could go and find a cure for the fantasy plague corrosion for them, uh, because their mum is ill. Uh, ba ba -dum. I said, how about you twice? God, I'm not normal today. That's okay. Wish. Brains brains are hard to, to like, keep up with. <laughs> okay. Where was I? Yes. I'm still in the prologue. <laughs> this is why there's too many, too many things going on in this, in this uh, game. Uh, so we had... He deserts from the army, goes to visit his sister, and they go off on this quest, and they're like, we're going to find a cure for this corrosion. Uh, at some point, we met Azorius. Can't what really remember why. Oh, Azorius, this is this guy. What are you doing, thing? He uh, he's a cyborg. The he's the only known survivor of the corrosion. We need to hold out just a little more. Is the ground shaking? Do you feel it too? Ah. Uh, or at least he's the only one that we found. So we went to find him and now he's on our side. Doesn't seem to have gotten us any closer to finding a cure, but he's he's my favourite, so that's cool. Uh, <laughs> what else happened? I honestly can't remember. Uh we've we we try we were trying to get somewhere, can't remember where. Uh so Azorus was like, Oh I have a friend, she's a sky pirate, she can help us. So we went to find her and we had to rescue her from like a... Uh, uh, I just knew something like that was coming. What is it? They just love to pull those kinds of surprises on us. Isaurus is the guy we met on the, in the scrapyard, yes. We're outside his city now. Oh wait, why did I move her over there? I've already used that, I can't use it again. Fuck! See, this is what happens when you distract me in the strategic combat. <laughs> um, gosh, I thought I knew what happened in this game and I actually can't remember anything. Uh, yeah, we found Fallon in, s oh god, in some kind of weird, uh, nope. Uh, okay, I guess, I guess you can have a nap. We found her in some sort of weird portal-esque, like, spaceship? Uh, and I missed some really important context at the beginning here. The context of this game... Everybody is, like, at war with this... Can I... I can't get it from here. Everyone's at war with these robots called the Archolites. And they came in at first and were like, Here, have loads of technology. We want to be friends. And then at some point, they just randomly attacked everybody. Oh, why can't I go there? I thought I could go around, but I guess I can't. And they're the ones that spread the corrosion. Isaurus, the reactor's ready to go. What? I already used it. Ooh. That's fun. There's maybe an evil well tree that eats people. That was a very minor part that had nothing to do with the story. 
Uh, I don't know what to do here. I think I've got to use this reactor. Uh, but yes. There's big war. There's also a corrosion. It's meaning resources are very tight. So we... Eventually we had Azorus and Fallon both together. And we were like, let's all work together. I have no idea what's going on, but I'm going to use this. Yeah! Oh my god! That did 6,000 damage and look at its health bar. Fuck! You had Moderna, but Pfizer before all of that. Fair enough. Mine have all been Pfizer. I think they're slightly different, like, versions of it, but they've all been Pfizer. Fallon is a pirate. Oh, God, what's it doing? Ah! Fallon is a pirate, doesn't really care about anything except money. Turns out she sold, she found Isaurus when he was, like, nearly dead, but somehow magically cured by a goddess, perhaps. Uh... <laughs> And she sold him to this the techno mages in the city so that they could experiment on him to find out a cure. Now we're fighting these weird robots, which we believe are minions of a doppelganger that is currently taking the face of Darian's old uh No don't no don't blow up my turrets! Fuck. It's taking the face of uh, Darian's old uh, commander, Commander Cora. And we've been tasked by Commander Cora because they just they discovered Darian, they found him. We've been tasked to defeat this uh doppelganger. And these robots, or they're not robots, By but they're the sort of robots, of are supposedly working for the doppelganger. So that's why we're fighting them. They're currently attacking places and taking children away. And young people. Don't know why. But we don't like that, obviously. So we're trying to repel them from Tyr Kalim, which is this city. See, I get much better when it's recent history in this game. The, the beginning of the game, I'm like, so much happened and I've got no idea. Uh, there's like... We've been seeing a lot of... Oh, crikey. Do I use my special attack or do I heal Selene? I'm going to heal her. Can't risk it. Darkness there's been a lot dark. of weird cutscenes with this doppelganger and with some kind of like arch priest of the church they seem to be at odds with each other and right at the beginning of the game we had a like some sort of weird ritual where loads of people were killed but there was the, it made this like massive big hand that like ki like just scraped through and like killed a load of archelite ships and they called it the ascension and apparently it's very important Darian interrupted it and ended up with some weird, like, wound thing that glows sometimes. <laughs> and now apparently he is the bearer, as we learned in the last cutscene, of the seed, as they called it. Whatever the fuck that is. Uh, him and Fallon have gone to find where the robots have come from. Uh, they got in a cave. They we, we played with them for like five seconds. They went in a cave and got ambushed and then we cut to these two so we've got no idea what's happening with them. Um, Whoosh. That probably does not explain the plot of this game at all. Uh, but I hope it was it was enlightening. <laughs> Do I have any? Oh, I don't have any. I've got the battery for his... Oh, this is Azorus, is it? Oh, that makes sense. I need some ether for Celine to get some more magic because she's useless if she can't do magic. Blip. Stop killing my turrets! If you're not the last one, then I need those. <laughs> I'm glad it was amazing. It's one of those things where I'm like, you're playing this game and you're just like, yeah, I get, I understand what's going on in this game. This makes sense. And someone asks you to recap and you're just like, no. <laughs> Ooh, I can't heal the turrets. I already tried. Stop fighting that. Wait, why am I not using taunt? Azorius can taunt it to By attack him. Fuck. Of the gods. I really just like forgot how to Isaurus. use Azorius. The reactor's ready to go. Oh, that's useful. But this is nearly dead, so I'm not going to use it yet. Oh my god, is it still not dead? 
How is it still not dead? It has no health! I feel like I'm only alive to de derail streams. Streams are there to be derailed, aren't they? I never thought I'd get a killing blow with Celine's staff. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> We've got Angst Boy, Mission Girl, Money Bomber, and Depressed Cyborg. Yep, that's exactly it. Oh yeah, everyone that meets Darian is like, Oh my gosh, you, you're a bit crazy. Look at your eyes kind of thing. Uh, and basically what? he's PTSD. Is it over? We did it! It seems like it. No, it's not over. Oh, maybe we didn't. The junkyard, damn it! Why didn't I think about it earlier? Think about what? There's a breach in the hole there. We have to hurry. What? Da there's a, there's a breach. There's a breach in the hull. This city is made out of an old spaceship, by the way, from the Archolites. There's a breach in the hull, and you only just thought to tell us that. Now, I have a sneaky suspicion. If we have to go back into the junkyard, I don't know if it's going to work. Because it seems that if I try and do that on stream, it crashes. <laughs> Which is going to be interesting. We can run If we can't do it, I guess we could run around and do some side quests. <laughs> hey, sorry, I forgot there's a hole in the wall. We're trying to... We're, like, basically under siege. And it's like... Oh, yeah, I, I get, there's a back entrance. Fuck, yeah. Forgot. Like, <laughs> who the fuck? I can't believe this. Can't believe this. Where's the junkyard? I can't remember. Is it, is it this way? I think it's this way. Have I just gone, like, complete, like, wrong way around? Probably. Over here? Wait, no. No. I've run around this city enough. You'd think I'd know where everything is by now. Okay. Let me let me save it. Fingers crossed. Otherwise, it's going to be side quest hour. <laughs> oh, that's not the right menu. Save! Yes, please. I'm so glad you can save wherever you like. Cross all your fingers and toes for me. <laughs> don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. <laughs> I mean, hopefully, if it does crash, all I have to do is do it off stream and save it on the other side, but that's a pain in the ass. <laughs> ah. Yep. This is a really strange bug. <laughs> oh, man. Side quest hour. I don't even know if I can go anywhere. I don't think I can leave the city, though. Hmm. 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 What a great stream. I'm good. You guys are getting quality. The quality gameplay today <laughs> this is going to be annoying if i can't leave the city there isn't any save points in this city and i can't so i can't teleport out <sighs> can't get in the junkyard <laughs> might be able to do super duper crafting time <laughs> <laughs> the quality the quality so high <laughs> if you need to pause OBS to get into the junkyard that's cool yeah I don't I might have to it's just super annoying but we'll see if we'll see if there's anything that we can like side quest do do side quest wise before we do. Right, I have a feeling I can't get out of the city, but let's try let's let's try anyway. Oh yeah, we we didn't try it with Celine, that's true. <laughs> we'll come back. Aw, oh, you're so 
Good. You're so loyal. Thank you so much. Honestly, one of your favorite streamers is made up 20% weird bugs, so it's perfect. We love weird bugs. Maybe Celine can do it. Maybe Celine can do it. I'm going to try going out the city first because I don't want... Uh, I feel like it's not that entertaining for you to watch me watch me troubleshoot bugs. <laughs> so let's see if we can get out. Um, I'm going to take this as a no. No. Okay. Check for enemy presence in the junkyard. Oh, interesting. Actually, it said that before. It's just a siege. Go for a stroll about the walls. Yeah. It said check for energy enemy presence in the junkyard when I was actually going to the junkyard to get those barrels. I didn't really think anything of it, but maybe there's something there's something weird with the wrong the wrong quests being shown or something. Probably fine. Let's try it with Celine. Let's see if that works. And if not, I shall have to pause the stream again. <laughs> Come on. Celine is the party leader. I will save once more. I don't really need to, but why not? Oh, it does not like me. There's definitely something weird going on. There is something weird going on. It seems to be that it crashes. I'm going to actually, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to try and screenshot. If it does crash, I'm going to try and screenshot the little box that comes up. I'm ready. Hang on. I'm ready. Because it's never come up before when it's crashed. Celine, Celine, our magic beam. Yes. Come on, Celine. Nope. Okay, I screenshotted it, so I can at least send it in a bug report. Okay, what I'm going to do, as uh, Nate suggested, I'm just going to stop the stream for like five minutes, uh, close down OBS, see if that solves the problem, and if not, we'll like chat for 45 minutes or play something else. We'll see what happens, but <laughs> I love you all. Thank you for putting up with me. I will see you in a little bit. Uh, bye. Alrighty. It's OBS. Or oh, it might be one of the other millions of things that I just shut down. But <laughs> it's one of those things. It just doesn't like it. Don't know why. <laughs> but we're at, we're here on the other side. I'm going to save it immediately. Save. so strange it's still thinking about things because i'm trying to open up other stuff as well oh captions i closed them down come back brace for brace for freeze while i open chrome <laughs> trying to do too many things at once that's me Come on, computer. It's not like uh, it's it's not like I'm asking you to do too many things. <laughs> there we go. Oh, the box is weird. Ta-da! Captions are back. That is very strange bug that I shall report. <laughs> but we seem to have fixed it simply by stopping OBS. Now. I don't want to. Return as promised. Oh, Nate. I love you. This is great. Now, this is a very inconvenient bug to stream this game. That if I have to stop the stream every time, every time I want to go in the junkyard, I might have to when we're when I'm actually off do some like proper, like proper troubleshooting where I like test each thing that I have open separately because it might not be OBS. It might be like having Spotify open or something. Your non-chicken nuggets are ready. Oh my god, are you you are living the best life. You know, there is just something. This is now my lunch entertainment. I'm glad. I don't know what what kind of um 
what kind of non-chicken nuggets do you have? Because there's just something about corn chicken nuggets. They are not nice. But I love them. Like, they are nice. Like, otherwise I wouldn't eat them. They're, they taste really good. So but they're not like... Wish, huh? They're not that nice. They're not that nice. They're like plastic. They are corn! Yes! The best. And I really love... I mean, I normally get like... Um, we get the, you can get the like southern fried chicken bite ones, which are kind of like nuggets, but they're breaded, and they taste very different. But they're 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 actually like nice, nice. Whereas the chicken nuggets are like this is plastic, but it's so good because it's full of salt. You know. <laughs> My favorite thing is own brand veggie sausage rolls. Ooh, yeah, I know. I don't. They're just perfect. They are perfect. I don't have the veggie sausage rolls very often. I love corn scotch eggs. Corn scotch eggs are the best. Also, scotch eggs are one of those things that when you're not, it's really strange when you're not a um, vegetarian, or even if you are a vegetarian, it's really easy to forget that scotch eggs are not vegetarian. People are, people always go, oh, they're not vegetarian. I'm like, no, they're literally full of sausage. <laughs> like, <laughs> and people are always like, oh, oh yeah, so they are, you know. I don't know why you're all running away from me, but I'm going to kill these guys. Aha! Take that. Ooh. Oh, I can use fire on these guys. That's good. Oh, I want magic points! Boo! How do I get... I have to be on this. I think I have to be on the same square as other people. Corn does the best little bites things. Oh, it, they do. You're so right. Scotch egg is a, a hollow ball of meat with egg in the middle. Yep, exactly. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize that Nate had asked the question. Uh, I suppose I should have thought of that, but I guess you don't have scotch eggs in, in America than being, you know, scotch and all. <laughs> They're so good, though. You should, if you get an opportunity, you should definitely try some because they're delicious. Oh, they're all in the same square anyway. Fantastic. I don't know if they call them scotch eggs for the corn ones, though. And here I was thinking it was an egg cooked in scotch. Nah, scotch is just called scotch because it's made in Scotland. Therefore, scotch egg is Scottish. <laughs> But yes, they are very nice. I think this? What the fuck? What's going on? I think the corn ones don't say scotch egg on them. I think they say something else, but they are scotch eggs, basically. I'm going to heal Isaurus because, you know, he could do with it. I don't know anymore. They had to rebrand everything so they don't use the meat name. That's so weird, though. It's like, it's not... It's not a um, trademark, it's just the, the name of a thing. You know, they're not going to be like, here are our corn sausages. Oh, we can't call them sausages. What else are you going to call them? They're sausages, you know? Confusion. I have no idea what's going on behind that thing, and I don't really think I really want to know. <laughs> Oh, interesting. Savory eggs, they call them. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, I guess, I guess they are. I don't think you would often have a non-savory egg unless it was like in batter. By the will <laughs> of the gods. Bit strange. They're so good though. I don't think I've had. I must have had the. Uh... The, the sausage rolls at some point. I think I remember having them, but I don't have them very often. I think they're not quite as nice. Okay, uh, looks like it's time for me to go around this corner and see what the fuck's going on. Because these guys are just kind of having their own thing over here. It was bigger with, like, the veggie beef burger, but I think that it was a weird naming thing, like Cornish pasties and champagne. Oh, so, you like, beef burger is localized? Weird. 
weird. Yeah, I get that. It's like you can make champagne, but it's only technically champagne if it's from champagne, I guess. Ever had US style southern biscuits and sausage gravy? Oh, you mean like the scone things? That's what it made you think of. Ah. It always gets it always confuses me when I hear the term biscuits and gravy because I'm like I'm like I mean I mean there are kind of there are savory biscuits and like biscuits that don't really taste of anything that I guess you could have with gravy but it seems so weird to me and then I remember that in America biscuits are like scones and I'm like this makes so much more sense you can't call it a beef burger if it doesn't have beef like it's fake beef like if it says vegetarian beef burger people aren't stupid they're gonna be like oh yeah it's it's not actually beef <laughs> that seems ridiculous to me but okay I'm gonna try a thunder rift why not it's like a very fluffy scone yeah submerged in sausage with some gravy Ooh, it does sound very nice that was the quickest thunder rift I've ever seen in my life blimey Swish. That's it. Attack the tank. Good boy. Oh, she don't have any magic left. Uh, I guess I'm using the ether. Oh, no. Let's move. Ah! Oh, she's bleeding. Don't blow me up. I'll be mad. Uh, let's use a fire rift. Why not? I will commend ha -ha -ha. your to the gods. Die. Oi! Rudeness. Swish. If this thing bloody blows me up. Should I use an attack? <laughs> There's no... Oh, wait. Why did I move there? Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh well, it's the end of combat anyway. It didn't do anything. <laughs> Woo! Free, free, uh, free falling dress there. Got a mind of its own. Very nice, very nice. Okay, we got a blue, a blue superior gemstone. Couple of var varicitium, titanium scrap, titanium scraps, good. Uh, homunculium, fulgurite hide, and a wool seed. Very good. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We have to make sure they haven't come in the massive hole in the back of the city that you forgot to tell anyone about. Oh my goodness. Also, how did nobody else... How did nobody else notice this? Oh my god. Here they are. Like, how did nobody else go... Oh yeah, there's a big hole in the junkyard. <laughs> Let them go. <gasps> it's the doppelganger! You. The gods' most cherished child. I... How do you know that name? How what is it? How wouldn't I know your name? Your debacle is the reason I'm down here. What? How? What is he doing? Ha ha ha! You... Still obsessed with your connection to them? So eagerly yearning to hear their voices. The many years you've spent crying out, calling for them has left you deaf to their call. In the end, it doesn't matter. You have betrayed the gods' faith the same way you have failed Harrion. Yikes! Soon a rain of fire will fall on these lands. I want you to remember, as you hear the agonizing cries of the people you have failed. This is all your <laughs> fault. No pressure. I don't understand. No, you don't understand. Looking for a cure for the corrosion? Saving the world? Becoming a saint? Overthrowing the elders? <laughs> The gods told me that the path would reveal itself to me. Yes. And still you were blinded to the signs. You'd rather follow a path dictated by your insatiable pride. 
mean? He's not wrong. This is impossible. Why would I lie? I'm the last of the guard's servants. Okay. Now enough with the bombastic tirades. And you, of all the people who opposed me, you are without doubt the most insignificant. Well then. That you've never been beaten up by a tramp before. I'll try to be gentle. <laughs> oh, I'm in for it now, right? You know very well I'm not referring to your attire. Can think of many reasons to You are lie. no threat to me yeah. because you have no self worth. Your body is not a suitable home anymore. The divine spark you swore to keep alive has died. Carnelian. That's Isaurus's real name. Carnelian? You know nothing about me. You are painful to behold. A tear in the very fabric of magic. Killing you will be an act of mercy. Well, we'll see about that. I forgot something important in my recap. No, oh, the pain, the pain, my life is pain. Please <laughs> end. Oh, apparently Oberos is one of you guys. <laughs> the important thing I forgot is that Isaurus told us that he actually comes from a like big noble house and when he caught the corrosion, they all disowned him, and he ended up a tramp in here. And I think that might be relevant here. Total cherries! <laughs> you're the... You're the... I mean, at least for now, you're the BBEG, because we don't know of anybody that's higher than this guy. <laughs> oh, my days! I'm so sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you before you kill me, I hope. Yikes! That was some some spicy, spicy backstory there. Okay, definitely it is time for a kinetic barrier. I'm gonna protect myself. I don't want her to look at me like that. Please shut up. Darkness before dawn. Oh, he can use all of the things I'm that. I'm the last of the Carnelians. Must I will cut you open. I... Out of the way. <laughs> Oh god. He can use shit. He can use all of the things that Isaurus can use, which means we cannot let him get to those turrets. Shit. Uh, ah! Uh. Uh, can I do anything to. Oh! What I can actually do if I move back. Why is Isaurus so slow? Fuck. Ooh. Jam, jam, jam. Exactly, exactly. Oh, she needs healing. Uh... Darkness before dawn. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. I'm going to jam them. And we can use gravity pull, which will hopefully pull him towards Selene. Ha ha! Take that. Why am I, why am I attacking him? Ooh! Uh, there we go. A prayer for your. Do I have some sort soul. of some sort of reaction? Come, Shit! Death. What? Ah! Uh, before uh, dawn. Uh, what the fuck? Please tell me this is another one of those where I'm narratively supposed to lose. Oh my god! Hi, Raven Queen. It's it's stressful. We Don't came in at a stressful dawn. point. How are you doing today? Yikes! Move! Get away! Okay, jam, 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 jam. <laughs> Celine is gonna die. She needs to get out of the way. Why is everything so slow? Hey. At least she's got that healing thing going on. I'm well. Oh, good to hear. Thought you'd come hang out with you for a while. Oh, thank you so much. I, I it's good to see you. Even if I'm a little frazzled by what's going on here. <laughs> How are things in your neck of the woods? Oh, they're all right. They're good. Sort of plodding on. 
I'm fi I'm currently fighting Evil XT Kirby. I guess yes, yes. That's a, as um, apt a description as you're gonna get. <laughs> he's some kind of doppelganger, but he's currently one. Of, he's currently taking the face of one of my party, which means he can use all of the same abilities, which sucks. Uh, Celine's actually doing all right, although she needs some more magic. She's keeping him busy over here, which is nice. Are there any more turrets? That's an explodey thing. Okay, I let's get him. Let's try and get him to follow me towards the turrets. That sounds like a good time. Um, it was a good time for like five seconds, and then I was suddenly like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> so it's going well. Celine, this way. Follow me. Follow me. Yes! Isaurus needs to be on the same tile as Selene. So that he can get Why some... Why have the gods stopped talking to me? Oh, he's changed! Am I not worthy? <gasps> oh, shit. Like, it was fun. <laughs> it was... It was okay when... Oh, I don't have enough points for rejuvenation. It was okay when he was Azorius because Azorius is not hugely soul. powerful. Celine uh. has some freaking powerful moves. Uh. You definitely don't want him as to be able must to do. Go as planned. Don't you dare! A prayer for your wayward soul. Oh, that stuns him. Oh shit! How do I how do I get him out? I think I have to hit him, but I can't. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. My last ether. I'm going to use it. Oh, mother will thank me for this. I'll make her Wait, I think I'm in the way of your time. I'm quite aware. I think I'm in the way of the No, I'm not in the way of the turret. It's fine. Okay. Oh, Isaurus is back now. What I want to do is get him in the middle. Well, I don't even know the gender of this doppelganger. I mean, I'm only calling him a him because so far he's taken on male shapes. But he could be could be any gender. Come this way. The bearer of destruction is not here to help you. Oh. You have no That's he's referring to Darian, I believe. Come this Darkness way. Before dawn. Oh yikes, what's he doing? He's changed shape again. I want, I want him to be in this hex here, so he can be in range of both of them. Um, I'm gonna skip a turn. Ha! Can't get me. Put her here. No! Don't! No! No! Fuck! Fuck! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't, don't I let him. I your soul to the gods. It's all in... Yes! Oh, I thought he was going to cast something on the turret then, and I was like, no! That's like the only thing keeping me alive! Okay, okay. Uh, actually, I'm going to move Azorius this way so he's closer to Selene in case he needs healing. <laughs> it's caricature dialogue of the characters. is pretty interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think... I get the impression that he has, if he takes on their shape, he has some sort of insight into their minds. So that's kind of what he's going for. Oh, I don't have any more. Shit. I don't have any magic to give her. She's gonna, she's gotta have, have to rely on this puny staff. At least she can interrupt his casting. That's important. Uh. Shit. Oh my god. What I will do... I think that will help Isaurus if I give it to him. Nice. A cold truth, what was that? Oh no, that's... Okay, Buster. Gloves are... 
Oh boy. I have a sneaky feeling that was meant to happen. <gasps> Ooh! We're, we're Davy Jonesing it in here. What is going on? Ah! Tin man. I did wonder why Azorus didn't have a special attack. Selene. Selene. Uh, Are you alright? What? It was in a violin case huh? as well. Why was it in a violin case? What happened? Case? It's okay. He ran away. He ran away? How? I pulled a dirty trick. Compelled it to leave while it was ahead. How did you do it? No matter. We have to follow it. Wait, what is our plan here? Just whistle for a Nekaru and throw ourselves to that creature again? Must I remind you of what just happened? There is no part of what just happened that I have forgotten, Carnelian. <laughs> okay, let's just stop for a moment here, Selene. I have no intention of making amends for who I am or to who or what I worship, and especially oh, shit. not because of some stupid immemorial religious feud neither of us had a part in. I believe there are more pressing matters at hand. Isaurus is out here, like, summoning Cthulhu, like... <laughs> You're right. I know you mean well, but we'll have to talk about it at some point. <laughs> and you will hide nothing from me. Okay. And by the way, what was that bit about the gods most cherished? Okay, found you. Oh! Priestess, Fallon. your brother is... Where's Darian? Did you leave him alone out there? He covered for me while I... While you ran away. Is that it? <sighs> We've got to go look for him now. You'll tell me your story on the way. Hey, let me remind you that I'm supposed to be here to provide transport and help you find that cure, not to... Are you going to charge us extra for doing your duty, too? <laughs> Is that the kind of person you are, Fallon? Yes. Then hurry up and name your price. She's already established this. She's not hiding this. Damn it. What do you say to that? What do you think? Is she right, Asaurus? Or should I punch her in the mouth? Ah, <sighs> don't ask me. One thing is sure, I'm beginning to understand why she's in charge. <laughs> I store all my eldritch deities in violin cases. I mean, why wouldn't you? It's the, clearly the best place to put them. <laughs> Hashtag not a warlock. I don't think- yep, Isaurus is definitely not a warlock. I think we we are just discovering this. Why does she have no clothes? Yeah, I asked the same question. <sighs> Punch her in the mouth, yeah. <laughs> She kind of deserves a punch in the mouth. Where? Oh, shit! You're awake! You're awake! This isn't good. This is one of Darian's so... friends who he thought was dead. Still. In fact, they were going to go on a date. I mean, Darian doesn't like her, but they were going to go on a date. <laughs> is that really you? Am I... dead? <laughs> Typical Darian. Glass always half empty. You find me alive and the first thing you think is that we must both be dead. We're both... alive? Look at his little face. <laughs> hey, are you... crying or something? I... it's just... It's been so long since anything good happened to me. Are you telling me... Axty boy. I'm something good? <gasps> yes. You certainly are. She needed to hear that from him. She very much did. <laughs> well, I don't know if we'll be alive for much longer. Oh. How did they go to the restroom in those the bubbles? Sentence, huh? Don't want to know, Seems probably. Like no matter what we do or where we go, our destiny is to get slaughtered on the closest altar. Oh, by the way, 
I've got something for you. Well, you can't give it? it to her very easily, can you? Oh! A present. I was supposed to give it to you during our date, but, you know, things happened. Is this... Yeah, Zandra told me you were collecting little wooden figures. I remembered your weird fetish for Anselm, so I started carving this during my breaks. Maybe he does you like her. With you. All this time. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. I guess I just didn't know what to do with it, really. <laughs> it looks so stupid. <laughs> hey, I did my best. I love it, Darian. I really love it. Apparently you can throw things through the bubble. Yeah, that is helpful. Uh, he knows he likes her. They're gonna get together. Maybe bubble only blocks living things somehow. Could be. That's true. <laughs> Although, to be honest, knowing this game... It's going to be like, they're going to get together, and then they'll get together, and then one of them will have to stupidly sacrifice themselves for the other one, or something like that. That is probably what's going to happen. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, we have three of the party back now. Uh, oh, a loot box. Why, thank you so much. Push in. Very nice. Oh, I'm going to save it right now. Where's that save point? Here it is. And also rest, because we've lost a lot of energy. Probably because Celine died in that fight. <laughs> resty, resty, rest. I don't know why the default wake-up hour is 10 o'clock. That's such a strange time. <laughs> okay. Oh, yikes. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to avoid those. Let's go! Wait, I can try and avoid them. No. <laughs> Greater, lend me your strength. Okay, well at least we have Fallon now as well. We can shoot them down. Why does she not have any... She doesn't have as many uh, abilities as she used to. I think I might have given her a new gun. That might be why. Ah! That's annoying. Shoot the front one. They like to sleep in. You know, they do. And we shouldn't blame them for that. You know, sleeping in is nice. Let's move. Fallon needs to move as well. Oh, shit. Something's... Swish! Haha! -ha. Oi! Some rudeness going on here. Phew! Right, definitely time for an Earth 2, I think. A nice area of effect spell. Why is Quickening Gust not working? That's supposed to give Fallon the, um, the buff that makes her faster, but it's not doing it for some reason. That is really quite annoying. Hmm. Yes! Smash them! Ha-ha! Okay, I guess I won't bother. Oh, Isaurus was in such a good place. And now I have to move him. I'll do it again then. Earth 2 worked well last time. She doesn't even have sheep. What's going on here? Ah, oh, there we go. Finally. Maybe there's like a chance that it doesn't work. Oh, yikes. Isaurus is running out of health. I'm gonna give him a barrier. Miss! Darkness a dark. miss! How rude. I'm gonna move Fallon back here. Isaurus could do... Shall I use a potion? I don't want to use a potion if because celine has got magic and she can heal him. And her turn is next, so... Just don't die soon, Isaurus, and you'll be fine. Oh, yikes. Elemental 
fundamental shift. What does that even do? Oh, run out of magic, and I don't have any ether left. Oh dear. Uh, I guess Celine's on the front lines now. <laughs> At least Fallon can never run out of ammo. Like, she has to reload, but it's not like you don't have to buy ammo and stuff. The only thing I have is this little stabby stick. <laughs> can I do anything useful? Not really. I'll do another barrier. Why not? Aha! Special attack time! Let's do it on the one with the most health. Well, hey! Off she goes. Honestly, is is Fallon gonna be the only character that's not like got some sort of weird curse or like is chosen by a god or something? She's just gonna be here like throwing bombs or whatever, like at, at, at things. Oh my god, that didn't even make much of a dent. Okay, I'm going to keep stabbing. Oh, don't... Yeah, do that. There we go. I'm going to try a short burst. It does more damage if you're closer, which sucks, but... Mm. Oh, I can't stop that one. Damn it. Yes! Fallon's weird curse is her wardrobe or lack thereof. You're so right. Oh shit, no, wait. Ah! It's us! I can't resurrect you if you do go down. They're nearly dead. We're gonna be. Oh shit. <laughs> They're nearly dead. We're gonna be fine. Look, couple more, couple more shots. And we'll have them. That one's dead already. Perfect. Another shot. And he'll die. Yeah. Woo. Did it. Oh, look at that. That's why she didn't have many skills. She was so low level on that gun. But now it's leveled up, so we're all good. Oh. A cut scene. We've got a cutscene. Now? Uh, what would this be? It's a big fucking door. The gates of Gideon, Yosaurus. Everyone knows that. A vestige of the long forgotten past. People usually think that these are just natural landmarks. Crystals that somehow formed randomly into this gigantic structure. Does that look natural to you? But of course, it has to have been done by design. Wait, what do you mean by that? I mean that our ancestors knew how to grow these crystals and how to form them into certain shapes. Uh -huh. Crystals are never you random. Me. The proof is before your very eyes. Game. This door has been open for eons, and now it's closed. Someone knows how to control them. And by someone, I mean these guys. So we wait here until one of them goes inside. I have a better idea. Of course you do. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. <sighs> what are you going to do me now? Repurpose you using nano machines. You what? This is Glados 2.0. Nano machines? It's kind of like fairy dust, but for machines. Fairy dust? Absolutely not. That is not fairy dust. It is much more complicated and. Way. How does someone like you know how to use nano machines? And how did you get a hold of those? I'm world class. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Do you intend to put me into that body? <laughs> Completely inefficient. <laughs> Take that one over there. This one? Affirmative. Nice choice. Are what they the making hell? friends? Nanotechus fairy dust for machines is frustratingly Quite accurate. Anything, actually. I mean, it is. Hey, this thing just tried to kill us. Do you really think it's wise to give it that body? Relax, buddy. It's all under control. He's got a point. We need your help. 
my brother. No need to explain. I distinctly recall all the past events. Your sibling needs my help. And I cannot refuse, since I must obey your orders. Actually... Let me access the unit's memory. Ugh, such an antiquated system. It's a miracle these <laughs> things can even walk. Ah, oh, here it is. I know how to open it. Wait a second. What should we call you? Plados. Um, typical human reaction. Now you see me walking on two legs. You suddenly wonder what to call me. <laughs> and? This body feels like a weapon of mass destruction. I think Thea sounds nice. Thea, huh? Affirmative. I'm not gonna lie, Nate. I don't know why they have to. The AI has to obey them. I I don't believe that was ever. <laughs> Do I have an AI magic robot in my party now? <gasps> <laughs> yes! Yes! I was not expecting this. This has made my day. Look at look at her. She's gonna be party leader. Of course she is. I can bet. Yes! Oh, she doesn't even walk. She just like floats. Look. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Oh, I love it. Look at her and all her gloriousness. <laughs> but yes, so the AI was from the ship that we found Fallon on. She stole it to put it in her in her airship. But I don't know why she has to obey them. Meh. Who knows? But anyway, it is indeed 6 p.m. The AI is also a serial killer. Very much so. Very much so. <laughs> Plados, like I said. It is 6pm. So I think that will be a good place to leave it. For today. Get our music. It might be a bit loud. Hey, let's turn that down. There we go. <laughs> or serial killer. But um, <laughs> Serial of the eating variety. <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much for joining me everyone today i'm very sorry we had so many technical issues but thank you for coming back uh eventful edge of eternity stream exactly nate yeah i'm glad you had fun uh i now have not got my list of things up because i have to close it here it is <laughs> yes thank you for being here and chatting away everyone and a special big thank you to awake for gifting out the five community gift subs so many <laughs> thank you so much for that and if you do want to support the stream monetarily i will love you forever you can sub you can cheer with bits you can donate to my tip page if you don't want that money going to amazon because why would you uh which is in the chat now but of course being here chatting away engaging with the stream is the most important thing you can do and i love you all for it anyway um other ways you can support the stream that don't require any money you can follow all my social media stuff on the link tree up in that corner which i will also put in the chat for you now all of the vods from here go up on youtube afterwards so if you want to find some historical vods from like three months ago you can go and see them uh on there this one might be a bit delayed than normal because i'm gonna have to do some like chopping and and pasting together and stuff uh but it should go up there soon um yes what else is on my list what else is on my list that's all that's all of the, my personal things but if you want to find me elsewhere on the internet playing games not of the video variety but of the tabletop role-playing variety you can find me over on deck of many aces which is an actual play dnd 5e podcast made with actual asexuals and aromantics it's a whole town of fun we're midway through our special short shot spicy forest one shot one shot there's uh, six six episodes it, three sessions six episodes uh, it's a one shot it's fine DM'd by the lovely Iriola Hombo, who uh, has been in the stream today. Uh, and also with special guest, Nate Scott Jones. <laughs> the forest is indeed very spicy. You should all go check it out. We're about halfway through now. So if you want a great time to jump in, if you only want a, to listen to a couple of episodes, uh, you can listen to that. And we'll be back to 
uh, regular sh uh, what's the phrase? Regularly scheduled programming on I think the beginning of February is when it will will be back to the main story. Um, but it's an awful lot of fun. You know what else is an awful lot of fun which you can find me on? Dragon's Jewel. So excited about it. Uh, so <laughs> I'm still so excited about it. I've been excited about it for weeks. Um, you can find me over on the Dragon's Jewel Twitch channel, which is again in the chat, uh, on at 9 p.m. on Saturdays, where I will be playing in the Shattered Realm, which is an actual play campaign. It's one half of two. The other, uh, the other campaign, the Darkest Timelines, full of our lovely American friends, and we're all gonna, we're all playing the same characters that have been split off into separate realities. So we're playing two different halves of their psyche, which is so exciting. Uh, you can find me. Uh, on this Saturday, I'll be talking through my character and talking through my backstory with our lovely DM, Hamilton. Uh, uh, on this Saturday, the last uh, Saturday was the, a couple of the other characters doing their own sort of backstory chats. And then episode one will be next week uh, over on there. Uh, we've already recorded it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and I'm going to be in the chat when I can to spice things up a little for you. So you can also find those any of those will be put on youtube so you can watch afterwards and also be released as podcasts so make sure you follow dragon's jewel if you prefer to uh, listen to podcasts then you can find them on there the stuff from last week is already on there so please do go check it out i believe that is all of the things that i have so far at the moment my normal streaming schedule which i did not Naughty, did not say. Uh, I normally sh stream on Wednesdays, Fridays, Sundays at 3 p.m. GMT, UK time. Uh, we do a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, today, because it's Wednesday, it's RPG Wednesdays. We're making our way through Edge of Eternity. And now we have a robot, which I'm super excited about. Um, the next stream, therefore, will be on Friday. It's going to be Chaos Friday. If you're a subscriber or if you've been gifted a sub, make sure you get on into the Discord uh, and you can find if you connect your twitch and your discord accounts you'll be able to vote on the game that i play on chaos fridays which i need to put a poll up in there for, and to remember to do that tonight um and you can pick the game which is a lot of fun so please do come join the community uh it's great to have loads of people there to chat away and have a lot of fun and hang out because everybody here is so cool <laughs> uh i think that's everything Let's see who we can raid. I think, is Betty live? Should we raid Betty? Yes, they are! We're gonna go raid Betty, one of our lovely mods, uh, who is currently playing Stardew Valley. Oh, I love when they play Stardew Valley. They're so good at it. <laughs> right, well, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you all very soon. I hope you have a lovely, lovely evening. Goodbye!